Andrew Garfield, uh, okay. you too have a Spice Girls connection. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm getting this information. Didn't someone, didn't a lovely lady, a lovely lady, didn't she ask you out through the medium of the Spice Girls music? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. How did you know that? You must have told somebody. Only my deeply intimate friends. <laughs> well, somebody blabbed. <laughs> this is, uh... This is kind of a hard story for me, actually. Oh, no, sorry. Well, this was my, this was my first love. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. And her name was Sarah. Oh. Yeah, and we, we, we... She asked me out, and it was... I was getting picked up by my mom at school, and... <laughs> I was 13, and she said, she was singing, do you want to be my, if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. And then she said, do you want to be my lover? <laughs> she was very tall, she was much taller than me. And she was very beautiful. Sure. And I, and I said, yeah, right. <laughs> and she was like, I'm having a gathering of people at my house tonight. And just a small, small group of people. And I was like, all right, yeah, am I invited? And then she was like, yeah, you come along. I was like, okay. So I went, it was four hours later, and then she broke up with me when I arrived. Oh. She dumped me for, from, for some bloke at Epsom College. Oh. Oh. Where is yeah, she no, now? No, 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 where, okay, have you, now. Seen, have you oh. seen Sarah since? <laughs> no, 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 that would be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, that was. I was thirteen. Yeah, it was fine. Still, like, still, we, still we went, hurts. we went still through. Hurts. No, I was obsessed with her for a long time. Right. I mean, Lin Manuel was on here, and yeah. he was talking about you know being so impressed by your singing. Mm. So weird to take a chance on someone who. Yeah. I mean, did, did you say you couldn't sing, or did you say I don't know? Well, so the reason why I'm Oscar nominated for this role is because of a friend who lied on my behalf. And, and, and it's, his name is Greg Miele, and he's a, he's a massage therapist in New York. He, he works on all of, like, Broadway dancers and singers in New York City. And he's one of my best friends in the world. So Lynn was getting massaged one day on the table, and, and, and he asks Greg, he says, hey, I have a thing that I want to make, and I might want Andrew to do it, but can he sing? And Greg, just immediately, without missing a beat, just said, oh, my God, he has <laughs> the voice. <laughs> Is Natalie Imbruglia meets Jennifer <laughs> Hudson meets, you know, Ariana Grande and Aretha Franklin. And Lynn's like, that seems excessive, but sure. <laughs> uh, and, you know, the, the massage ends and Greg immediately calls me and says, hey, buddy, can you sing? And, uh, and, I, and he's like, because you have to be able to sing because now my reputation is on the line. <laughs> and, and, uh, but we all need friends who can lie for us. Yeah. And now, so it's Greg Miele's lies that has led to this Oscar nomination, which is kind of an amazing thing. I think. Uh, not just this film and an Oscar nomination. You also appeared in now what is one of the biggest films of all time, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Like... <laughs> Everyone loves it. Everyone loves Spider-Man. Yeah. Well, I, love I went to see it in the cinema, and when you guys appeared, the cheer was amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, can you saw it in the cinema? <laughs> but you know, you went to see oh, it. It's so cool, yeah. I mean, it's so... I, you know, I, I finished playing... I'm, I'm far too old to be playing Spider-Man now, but they, they asked me back, and, and it's, it's the sweetest thing ever. Because um, I put that to bed. I was like, no, that, that's... I'm, I'm good, I'm done, that's, that's lovely. Um, and Tom Holland is just the best, so... I just kind of became a fan again. And then, and then they asked me to do it, and... and, and Toby was doing it. I was like, well, it's Toby. I'm, I've got to do it if Toby's doing it. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> and at least you weren't the oldest. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but he's my, my Spider-Man, so it's like, you know, I, I would practice his lines in the mirror when I was at drama school. Like, I was very high at the time. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> my, friend, my friend Terry McGuinness, who... And he would, he would crack up and he would look at me like, yeah, you'll never play Spider-Man, Andy. <laughs> and, uh, and, then, and then here we are. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but me and me and Toby, we um, we became friends, and we we snuck in to a theater in Los Angeles at, um, or, uh, on the opening weekend, and we were just two, you know, middle-aged white guys in baseball <laughs> hats and masks, and we just kind of yeah absorbed them. It was yeah, you know, special special things in the middle of a pandemic. As well. And it's one of those things. I mean, when you've had a big success in a role like that, 
going back to it, did it feel like a high-risk thing to do? Yeah, it was a stupid idea. It was a really, <laughs> really scary thing to attempt, yeah. Especially just the costume. Oh, God. <laughs> 38-year-old man in a spandex, you know... They are unforgiving, those costumes. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> intimidating, yeah, yeah, very intimidating. Wait, this is cool. Uh, cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, urban dream. And, now, Andrew, I'm slightly disappointed now that you're not in the outfit, cos you do show up at things in the outfit. Do I? Yes, I do sometimes. Yes, yes, I'm very... I'm a fan. I love being Spider-Man. I'm 30 <laughs> and I'm embarrassed about it. But no, you... I adore it, yeah. He, that, my first ever Halloween costume when I was three was a, a mother-made Spider-Man costume. My, my mother. Actually, I think we've particular. got a picture. We've got a picture of that. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah. There, look at him. Oh. How amazing is that costume? My mum is amazing. She made both those costumes for me and my brother. My brother's Superman and I'm Spider-Man. That's but Benedict for, Garfield. For my, for my mother. <laughs> Oh, my mother. How amazing! I mean, it's kind of amazing she made the outfit. It's more amazing that little boy is now oh, actually crazy. Spider-Man. <laughs> That's nuts! I love it. it. Andrew Garfield, yes, how God. lovely to have you at this time. So uh, a big here. congratulations thank on your Oscar nomination. Oh, thank you I mean, much. just... <laughs> so I'm for you. <laughs> because, you know, uh, Oscars this month, I, I've heard you, you have threatened to recreate your beautiful Golden Globes moment, which you must be so regretting because you've talked about it <laughs> everywhere you go. Uh, I'm sure you guys saw this. Uh, uh, Ryan, we talked about it because Ryan Gosling was on the show yes. uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yes. So Ryan Gosling is getting his award. Uh, Annette, you're, ra you're here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Is that you? Oh, yeah. Edward. I think you're over there. Uh, but over here, stealing the thunder, <laughs> is Andrew Garfield <laughs> and Ryan... <laughs> And Reynolds. So, are you going to do it at the Oscars? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a ridiculous thing. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I said to Ryan Reynolds, if you win, kiss, kiss me instead of your wife. And, <laughs> and he said, yeah, that's great. And, he, the, the, and the plan was is that he would kind of move, move towards his wife and then, and then kind of last minute move towards me. <laughs> and then he didn't win, much to... Our disappointment. I said to, I said to, we can still just do it. <laughs> <laughs> and he was, and he was game. But I, and I love the fact that it was so deep in the background. So you, <laughs> you kind of have to kind of look to to see if it, it was actually. What, yeah. <laughs> Like he was unaware of it. Yeah, no, I know. Were you aware of it, Annette? No. <laughs> <laughs>